Hi everyone, welcome to the Robert Show. We are here at NVIDIA GDC in Washington and I have with me Robin from HP, Russell from uh, Town of Whale. Uh, super excited to host you both today on the Robert Show and some uh, great announcements that were made by Jensen today morning at the keynote. Uh, but I'm kind of curious to learn more about smart cities, AI, agentic AI and much more from both of you. So to start with, why not start with a quick intro and then we can uh, talk more about these topics. Robin? Yeah. So very quickly, Robin Braun, VP of AI Business Development at HPE, and I also lead the Unleash AI program. So delighted to be here at GTC and to be here with you. Fantastic. And I'm Russ Forrest. I'm the Vail Town Manager and responsible for operations uh, of the town of Vail. Fantastic. Uh, so let's dive in and let's talk a little bit about smart cities. Uh, smart cities rely on a convergence of technologies to address uh, and uh, obviously it helps with traffic man management, efficiency, uh, en energy efficiency and much more. How is uh, HP approach to AI innovation drive progress in creating uh, more connected uh, cities? but also helping the larger community. Robin, can you share a little bit about that? Well, you came at the perfect time because today we announced the HPE Agentic Smart City Solution. So we're incredibly excited and our partner Vail, Town of Vail, has been instrumental in helping us bring this all together. But really what we looked at is leading the Unleash AI program is bringing together a set of innovation partners that can help the town of Vail, and now of course other municipalities and towns, right. be able to answer their top challenges. And we've talked about it, and I'll let Russ speak a little bit more to it, yep. is that it's not always, it's not just vision. You know, when we think about smart city, we think about IOT, we think about vision, and that's definitely part of it. We have some amazing partners, uh, Vidio and Prohawk and Black Shark that help us with different elements of that. But it was also really talking to Russ and the town to say, what can we do to bring more efficiency? And I'm not going to steal his thunder, I'm going to let him add more. Yeah, nothing better to have a partner to do this and do this together. Russell, please tell us. So, Robin, thank you. I mean, it's truly an honor to be here, and wow, what an incredible learning process this has been for myself and the entire Town of Vail team. Um, this really has been an incredible process. It's really occurred just in the last four months. Right. And I got to thank Robin and her team from HPE who brought together this incredibly talented group of people that work in AI every day. Totally. And it that started with this very interactive, iterative process where we spent two days where they were sharing what AI can do and we were sharing with them our basic challenges in you know, most governmental entities were being asked to do more with less, and there were two big buckets that we saw as real opportunities, and the first right. one was helping us with really kind of the mundane things we have to do every day, so which important. is looking at historical records. Some of them are handwritten, <laughs> um, and then turning that into meaningful information we can quickly gather and use with our customers, and it also allows our people to have greater freedom and more time to do higher level working and better support our residents and guests that come to the town of Vail. This is fantastic uh, information and thanks for sharing these insights. Uh, I'm kind of also curious to know how does this solution make it easy for cities like town of Vail, uh, not only just uh, from moving from experimentation mode to real world use cases, if you can share a little bit about that would be interesting. Um, absolutely, I think there's two pieces to that. One is starting with use cases that were of high impact to the town of Vail and making sure that we were hyper-focused on being able to deliver that efficiency, those gains, and as we're working together to roll that out, um, you know, we're talking about where can you see FTE savings, where can you, again, to Russ's point, bring it to where the people are now free to do things that aren't like going into archives and looking up paper, because that is everybody's favorite thing to do. So true. Um, <laughs> but also, you know, when we look at from the HPE perspective, how do we make it easy to manage? How do we make it easy to support? Very important. You know, having kind of platforms like PCAI where it can be lifecycle managed um, across the entire AI stack. They don't have to worry about managing piece parts. Uh, being able to have that there as kind of the trusted infrastructure within their, within their own data center so we can co-locate all of the intelligence with their data and their sustainable data center, I might add, all running yep. on renewable energy, very cool. And 
And then also, of course, leveraging, you know, the newest from NVIDIA with the NVIDIA RTX Pro 6000 and being able to kind of bring all of that together, but that Vail doesn't have to worry about it. You know, that kind of, we've kind of gone ahead and packaged all of that, and then we're bringing the partners uh, together with um, particularly Kami Waza as the agentic back end, who really has helped us kind of spearhead that whole workflow approach. Yes, very important. Razul, what would you like to add? So just to build on what Robin shared, um, some specific examples. Yeah, So please. again, with this incredible application of AI, to our records management. One of the most important things in the town of Vail is creating affordable housing where real estate is very expensive and we manage it through a legal document called deed restrictions. Right. Some of these are handwritten, some of them are in laser fiche, and we had nearly a full-time employee trying to decipher these historical records yep. and then give guidance to people that were buying or renting units in terms of how they can do that. So it's nearly a full FTE savings for us, and that same individual now, again, can work on policy, can spend more time with families in terms of educating them on how to buy a home. Nothing better than that. And then right. we're also seeing the opportunity to do things we've never imagined. We have all these cameras in the town of Vail that we've used for managing crowds, uh, managing situations, but it was real time. Wow. And now with AI, we're using these same cameras to determine is there a fire or is it a fog bank? And if it's a fire, it's giving us direction and will give us a, 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 a way to kind of immediately respond to You can save incidents. more lives, for yeah. sure. And save lives. Yeah, 100%, I love it. Uh, I love this partnership. I'm kind of, since you mentioned, uh, y'all are also focusing now in the world where we are, obviously AI comes everywhere. But I also want to touch to a little bit on agent AI as the topic. Uh, how does it work with governments, communities? How are y'all leveraging agent AI is what I'm kind of trying to figure out. So Robin, can you share a little bit about that? Yeah, absolutely. The It's really, I would say, that this integrated platform has been powered by agent AI. If you right. think about you know, we were talking with Luke from Kamiwaza, and if you look back um, three or even two years ago, like this technology, like the way we're solving it wouldn't have been possible, but being able to leverage agents to bring a new agent workers for Vail to be able to address their, the, the challenges around 508 compliance and having public information accessible for those with disabilities to still be able to access it or for the fire prevention to not only detect that, the, that there's smoke, but then to also bring context to it and deliver that to the town of Vail. Yep. Like, there's so many ways that it's able to take off, again, to the points being made, that mundane piece and bring that agentic workforce to support Vail and what they're doing. Yeah, I love it. Uh, anything that you would like to add, Russell? Well, one of the things we do every day is provide information to our tourists and to our residents. Oh, wow. And yeah. so one of the other components that's been fun and I think has an enormous opportunity for growth is creating an avatar to respond to basic questions we get every day. And every we're going to start this with our True. library. And often our guests are asking questions, what do I do? What are events? Uh, what's the history of Vail? So we're starting with an avatar that'll answer those questions, and we see that continuing to expand in the future. So that avatar is available at two o'clock in the morning when we don't have a person in our welcome center. Yes, exactly. It just helps them to have a 24 hour service and there's information, whatever information they need and those most commonly asked questions is just in one place. So very nice. Talking a little bit about the future as well here, how do you see this uh, solution kind of helping and innovating the future for smart cities and uh, also the communities? Anything that you would like to share a little bit about the future, Robin? Well, I think the exciting thing, and you know, like I just, I love every time we're engaging and, and doing things together. The, what I love is that as we've, as we've created a use case, as we've worked with the different organizations within Vail on their use cases, what's been fantastic has been, oh wow, but what about, what if, and and I Very love important. I love that that they're already thinking about the what if, what next, because as we're unlocking that these capabilities, 
it's starting to demonstrate, you know, and what I love to say is it starts to make it practical and tactical for them. So you know, because we can there and you know, we're doing interpretive dance around, you know, what it's going to look like. And that's hard when you haven't been used to seeing it every day. Like I get to so see it every day. You know, the different partners we brought to the table, like they see it every day. So when we say, oh, you can see this, we know what that means. But if that's not like that's not your job to see it every day. Yeah. And so now I think it really opens us up to, I can't wait to get back after GTC and be able, we're already talking about kind of the, from the initial workshop where like three months ago we've, we've gotten here and I can't wait for the next one. Love it, Razel. So just today my team is calling me saying, you need to talk to Robin <laughs> about what's next. And they're, so wow. they, the, the hook is in them. Yeah. Uh, and again, they came to this a little apprehensive about the environmental issues, you know, the safety of the data. And again, we feel very good that this is consistent with our sustainability goals. Yep. Uh, and again, uh, we'll protect our data because we're only providing data that we approve. Yes. But kind of the fun next steps and the what ifs, right. you know, that's already begun. So this avatar, you know, my team is going, well, can we create a virtual assistant, you know? So if you're coming to Vail at 10 o'clock in the morning, yeah. where do I park? And more importantly, where do I ski that yeah. day? Which wow. is, you know, that's sensitive ish information. Yeah. Um, our fire chief called me. And so through these cameras, he's already beginning to think about the next steps. You know, can we use our cameras and satellite imagery to look at where we have too much vegetation around buildings, building materials, wow. and maybe even create predictive models of what a wildland fire, which again, you know, it's it's a fact of life in the West. Yes, exactly. But how do we manage, how do we mitigate those fires before they hit us? Wow, this is amazing. I, I wouldn't have even thought about it until you've mentioned about this. Uh, in so many different ways, AI kind of helps us, but also having this sort of partnership kind of makes it easier for the communities, for the people, and also for making actually the cities way smarter. So I'm excited about you know seeing how this kind of uh, rolls across, and we'll definitely keep our audience posted about it as well. But before we wrap this up, I have one last question for both of you. If folks want to reach out to you, learn more about this project, I'm pretty sure HP kind of puts out a lot of content for our audience to always keep learning. Uh, where can they learn about this project? And also if they want to reach out to you, which is the best social platform they can connect? Robin? Um, well, I'm pretty easy to find on LinkedIn. Okay, so that's nice. Robin Braun, easy, hit yep. me up on LinkedIn. I'm passionate about what we're doing with the town of Vail and excited to continue growing it out. And, and also because we're doing it with an agentic kind of integrated platform, being able to help other municipalities and towns as we go. It's so good, yeah. Russell? And again, Russ Forrest, and you can get me at R Forrest, F-O-R-R-E-S-T, at mail.gov. And again, we're really excited about sharing this story with our colleagues in the municipal government world. Love it. Uh, thanks both of you for sharing the story. Uh, we'll let you enjoy NVIDIA GDC in, uh, in your in Washington. But uh, chat soon. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it. Thank you everyone for joining us today.